Oh, are you serious? Are you serious? Oh, this isn't going to work. This isn't going to work. All right. I'm going to have to... Oh, wow. I am in the dark. All right. Okay, we are live coming to you from beautiful downtown southern sunny California with insane friends. <clears throat> well, we're going to hang out here and uh, healthy vegan living. Thank you for being in the chat. A healthy vegan living. We're going to do some what I'm calling peanut butter chocolate gourmet bars or Gourmet chocolate peanut butter bars. And uh, waiting for some people to come in to arrive here in the chat. Hey, Will, you're going to like this recipe. It's a vegan gourmet peanut butter chocolate bar. The only thing I'd do different is I would use all natural peanut butter. But uh, these bars should be the bomb. Good stuff. And when I turn... How you doing there, Will? And then I'm like... You're so, so McDonald's got... Oh, really? Sometimes that happens. Remember when I interviewed that friend of mine's girlfriend that got a, a Burger King, a burger, maggot burger? Yeah, I, I just, I just rebooted, uh, re reconnected here. I don't know why. Um. But usually if I'm buffering, it's because maybe your internet provider, you're, uh, there's a lot of people, you know, on the net, which slows it down on your end. But uh, mine just reconnected. Uh, still buffering a lot. Well, you need to let McDonald's know that uh, their burgers or fries or whatever. Um, but yeah, but you want to let them know. Because I know from time to time, you know, ever so often somebody will say that they're buffering, but there's three or four people in the chat and they're going, oh, but I'm okay. I'm not buffering. But you're the only one in the chat, so it's hard to say. It was their breakfast sandwich. It was dry, hard, burnt. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah, you should have. You were probably just hungry and went through the drive through but. If you had the time, you know, you should have, now you know, you know, go back and tell them this isn't acceptable. You know, talk to the management. Yeah. 
Well, last week I was late. I know late. Last week I totally forgot I was busy working on my bathroom and uh, forgot to go live. Completely forgot. Okay, there's two in the chat who's here. Gaming with Marcos 2019. Hey, Marcos, thanks for dropping in, bro. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to make this gourmet peanut butter chocolate bar, man, to, from scratch. And uh, it's really going to be, it's, it's, it's the bomb. You know, it's good stuff. Oh, is it something I said? They hit and ran. It was a hit and run. He dropped in and took off. <laughs> Touch and go. <laughs> wham wham. <laughs> All right. Gaming with Marco said, Hey, kid, and back out. Adios, muchachos. Your mom got it for me. Okay. All right. Sorry to hear that, Will. I got some. I ended. I got a. I ate a burrito one time from uh, Del Taco, and I ate one, and I started eating the next one, and my stomach wasn't feeling right, and I'm going, uh oh. I knew it all day long. It tore me up all day. About five, six hours. It just tore me up. All right, in the chat, Will. The show zero in the chat. The show zero in the chat. Huh, it's still showing zero. Your cousin got tacos from there. Okay. Well, generally, their food's good. It was just that one time, you know? Like maybe they, it was like, in the morning, it wasn't even lunchtime yet, so maybe it was something left over from the day before. You know, I don't know what to think. Um, but yeah, just that one time. And it's showing zero in the chat. They like them a lot. Yeah, well, Del Taco's pretty good. I go there. I go there off and on. You know, like I said, it was just that one time. Strange. Yeah, that guy was saying it was in the morning. It wasn't quite lunchtime. Maybe it was something left over from the day before. You know, I don't know. But, uh, well, if nobody shows up yet, I'm just going to have to go live and go live. I'm just going to have to show this, how to make this uh, peanut butter chocolate vegan gourmet vegan chocolate peanut butter bar. Um... I've heard parts of California is having power outages, probably due to fires. Out here, they're saying if they think that there's a fire in your area, if there's a fire is going to cause problems or cutting off your power, and you may not even be in the fire zone. Um, that might be what's going on with that. All right. You know, I don't have my uh, list I got to make the announcement here best I can. Uh, we have Victor Sane, Sane Auto on Sunday at, I believe, at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We have Sane Auto Wednesday. I believe it is 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Then Thursdays, we have Dorito and Luce Cabra at 6.30 Pacific Time, California Time. Following, we have yours truly, easy to tips and tricks, etc. Every Thursday night at 7.30 Pacific Time, coming to you live from beautiful downtown Southern sunny California. All right. So I guess I'll have to start over. Okay, we have Sane Auto, 7.30 Eastern Standard Time. 
Then we have Gregory Salvadori, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That is Sunday. Wednesday, we have Sane Enterprise, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Then we have, I just screw up their time. Then we have Muscle Car Appraisal. They have trivia and whatnot. Following. And St. Enterprises is on Wednesday. Then Muscle Car Appraisal following. Then Thursday we have Dorito and Luce Cabra. As I said, Pacific Time or better known as California Time. Yours truly. Easy to tips and tricks. 7.30 Pacific Time. Sunday, Choppers, Rule 1, 6.30, Sunday, following Fab Automotive Detailing, 9 p.m., Saturday night. Then every third Sunday of the month, we have Hot Rod Madness with Tim Bird. Okay, that's every third Sunday of the month. Hot Rod Madness with Tim Bird. Okay, now I wasted, dragged this out as much as, as long as I could. So now we're just going to get into uh, this video and uh, of healthy vegan living. So as I'm getting it set up here. Stay tuned. Okay. As we're getting it up and running. Okay, I'm getting it all dialed in. One. Nathan, I'm live right now on my channel. Okay. All right. Now, hopefully, all right, we're going to turn this around. All right, now, here we go. Healthy vegan living. Oh, is this going to work? All right. Hi, I'm Garrett. October is the end of the year, as many holidays, where friends and family come together. Why not make our decadent Cook with the Light bars for your party? It requires very little cooking and can be stored in the refrigerator if there is any left. Thank you for watching. Hey, my friend Nathan likes drums. Been a long time, bro. Thanks for showing, for, for being here. Old-fashioned oatmeal. 
three quarters cup. You can write all that down. Write all this down to screenshot it. Do a screenshot. Sprinkle cocoa over peanut butter. Turn burner on to medium heat. Mix ingredients together with a spatula. Mix all ingredients until uniform color. Do not boil mixture. Low heat. Turn off heat. Mix three cups of oatmeal into pan. Hey, Bigfoot Silver Hide and Seekers, thanks for being here. There's your bars. That was quick and easy. Danielle, I'm ready to make gravy. Man, I want some now. Those things are good. Hi, I'm Gary. I hope you enjoyed this video. Click the circle on the right side of your screen to subscribe for more organic cooking. Or click the rectangular box upper right side of your screen to see my expanded playlist. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Almost. Video. Thank you for watching. Okay. That's Healthy Vegan Living, coming to you live from beautiful downtown southern sunny California. Now, if you screen, if you do a screenshot, um, you'll be able to get the ingredients to make those out of what I'm calling gourmet. Peanut butter chocolate oatmeal bars. Hey, Daniel Aguilar. Thanks for being here. You can go back and check out that recipe from Healthy Vegan Living. I'm calling them gourmet peanut butter chocolate bars, but really it's a peanut butter chocolate oatmeal bar. And they look like the bomb. All right, Bigfoot Silver Hide and Seekers. How you doing, my friend? Nathan likes drums. Are you still here? He thought he's an old friend. I haven't seen him for some time. Is the powder still on in Cal? I power, it's still on where I live. The fires, I believe there's fires, and uh, the electric company decided they were going to start shutting off the power in an area if there was fire or high winds or stuff like that. They've never done it my whole life. It's something they've just started to do recently. Matter of fact, we got a letter in the mail telling us, if there's ever a fire or high winds in your area, we, we may disconnect your power Un <laughs> by surprise. So what are they really preparing us for? You know, they've never done that ever in my life. So what are they up to? What's the real deal? You know, it's like you need to have a generator on hand, you know, uh, in that event, just because you don't know.
but uh, yeah, those bars look pretty tasty. I'm, I'm gonna have to try to make some. But go to Healthy Vegan Living's. It's in this playlist. Um, I've also saved this recipe to my playlist, my called Friends Playlist or uh, United We Stand YouTubers Playlist. What if it's out for days and food goes bad? Well, that's what I'm saying, uh, Will. Um, you know, you need to get a have a generator or some solar panels or something that you can hook up. You know, but solar panels, you need batteries. You need a few of them. And then is it going to be 24 volts or is it going to be 12? You know, 20 volts, the 24 volts uh, is a better option from what I understand. It could be six. But, uh, so, we'll see. Um, I do have some panels. I just got to get the batteries. But, uh, so is Nathan Likes Drums still in the house? Or is uh, Daniel Aguilar in the house? Um, I haven't seen Nathan Likes Drums, man. It's been quite a while. We've lost contact. Uh, Daniel Aguilar, thank you. All right, cool. Glad to know it. Appreciate your time and for you being here. Uh, I usually try to do something different. Uh, I go live in St. Friends as a group that Victor Sane, St. Otto, uh, put together. If you're into cars, uh, old cars, uh, muscle cars, antique cars, he goes to car shows and videotapes, professionally videotapes these car shows. And uh, St. Otto, Victor Sane, um, he started the Insane Friends group. And uh, it might be some, a channel you might like to check out. And then there's a whole, there's a group of us that go live every night. Yeah, it is. And he does really nice, uh, video. His cars, his car shows are nice. You get a whole mixture of, you know, different old school. And like I say, the muscle cars and antique cars and some motorcycles. And, you know, so that's Victor Sane or Sane Auto. Um, so those that, for those that don't know. And then everyone else in the group um, that I mentioned it once I got into my live stream tonight. Well, thank you, Daniel. I appreciate that, you know. Um, I, I know. And uh, so I appreciate that. Uh, if you're into bodybuilding, working out, exercising, I just started a uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 9.30 uh, Pacific time, AM, workout, uh, basic stuff, and then some advanced. And uh, I'm teaching a method and a technique that I've created. I'm on my channel. And that's uh, Monday. That'll be uh, tomorrow morning, 9.30 AM, Pacific time or California time. Um, uh, tomorrow will be my sixth exercise. Actually, my fifth exercise. A program class. Um, no, it'll be my sixth. Yeah, it'll be my sixth one tomorrow. Um, anyways, my second weekend. And uh, if you can make it, check it out. Tell a friend. You know, if you, your grandfather, your mom, your dad, your uncle, your if you have some know somebody that's disabled, they don't think they can do anything. If they can move their arms, if they can move their legs, you know, they can do it too in most cases. In most cases. Not everybody, but more. Me, that cow. Yeah, I'm not sure where you're at there, uh, Daniel. I grew up here, but I've lived in the south. I like it in the south. I'm going to be... Moving back here as soon as I get this house ready for sale after it's ready. Um, so thank you for being here. And if you ever have any questions, feel free to ask about anything I'm doing. Hey, RG. How you doing? How you been? I saw you uh, dropped in the other day when I was showing some custom painting, professional painting. 
you know, techniques. I uh, just couldn't watch the chat. Um, so I hope, hope all is well with you, RG. Hey, there's going to be a meetup um, with some guys 17th, 18th, and 9th. Or 9th actually, it's 18th, 19th, and 20th uh, down in uh, Azusa Canyon, I believe it is. Um, I may try to make it. I'm not sure if I'll be able. I'm going to a marriage conference. Hey, healthy vegan living. This is the man responsible for that gourmet chocolate peanut butter oatmeal bar. Healthy vegan living right there. He's, he's the guy behind the scene. Um, He's got some really good recipes. He's got some stuff that you don't stop to think about. You know, he put on a video on how to make croutons. I uh, never thought about making croutons. Um, you know, I tell my wife, she's like, oh, yeah. But I'm like, he, he took this loaf of bread that had all these nuts and just different flavors, just the way they made made the bread, this loaf. and chopped sliced it up chopped it up and made these custom i call it gourmet he doesn't call his channel gourmet i call his channel gourmet oh for you oh you're in canada all right it's in the philippines okay all right i'll be thinking the nice and nice snacks yeah i mean he's got some gourmet meals like i'm saying he doesn't call it gourmet but healthy vegan living, far as I'm concerned, he does gourmet vegan dishes, you know. Uh, he's, he's, got, he's got some incredible playlists um, of, of all these dishes and stuff. But like I was saying, he made these gourmet-like croutons, homemade. Um, just good stuff, you know. Well, you're welcome there, Gary. Um, healthy vegan living. Maybe, maybe you need to open up a gourmet vegan restaurant. I mean, could some of your dish dog? Well, not some. The dishes I've is like wow, good stuff. You know, it might be a might be a big hit. Yeah, it's my lens, my lens. It's my my phone. I've only dropped it about eight times, ten times, literally. But uh, here in a in about a week or so, I'm, I'll have another phone. No way too much work. Yeah, my wife and her mom had a restaurant for a while, and she says you live in there. You basically live and eat and breathe restaurant. Um, when you're when you you own it yourself, you know, independently owned. Um, so, anyways, I'm just saying. You, I call, I, I call your channel gourmet. You don't call it gourmet. I call it gourmet, but you should call it gourmet. <laughs> so, if you're not set up, and hooked up, dialed in, and you know, even if you're not into into vegan, Gary's channel is worth watching. Let me tell you. You know, you get some ideas. You know, he shares what he knows and uh, lays it out there for you. So, um, means a lot. Start. So, those of you that, that dropped in late, you're going to have to come back and watch Gary's video on these oatmeal peanut butter chocolate bars. I mean, I can taste it right now just from watching it. Yeah, yeah, you'll, you'll like that. Um, it's like I could, I, I, I just want to go reach in and grab one, you know, and just have a snack. But um, yeah, those bars look look really yummy. And like I say, he's got all these different vegan meals and whatnot. Well, this isn't vegan. Ken is my best supporter. I should send him a paycheck. No, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> this isn't vegan, but there you go. Uh, this isn't vegan, and I'm eating late. And I'm doing an exercise program. 
<laughs> but, uh, I'm gonna this this the look. I'm gonna share. I'm gonna share my dinner with you guys. This isn't vegan. It's partial. That that's that's vegan. But this is pork chop, homemade, that homemade mashed potatoes, real mashed potatoes and gravy. That's now that's good. That's good old fashioned cooking right there. <laughs> And I have an exercise program, and I'm eating at 10 o'clock at night. What's wrong with that picture? LOL. <laughs> I'm teasing. I want to have a video call with you and my friend Nathan if, you know. Um, we might be able to work that out. Nathan's a good friend of mine there, Daniel. I, I just lost contact with Nathan Likestrums. He dropped in, but he disappeared. He's got to stop disappearing. Uh, but yeah, me, Nathan, Nathan and I go way back, shoot, from when I first started. Well, almost when I first started. When I started going live, um, I met Nathan when he was starting out as well. Um, along with Mike, uh, with uh, Ranger 92308, um, and a couple other people. But it was good to see Nathan drop in here tonight. So anyways, uh, RG, it's funny I made chicken soup tonight. It was gum. I could even get a <laughs> Sounds like you made the bomb chicken there, RG. Now you next time you know you need to make a big pot. <laughs> Throw in an extra chicken. <laughs> So, I tried to get my camera to go sideways, but it tells me to rotate it because it's not, it's not doing it. Yeah, it's not doing it. Anyways, um, yeah, so Gary, or Healthy Vegan Living there, um, he's got a really good channel. Um, like I say, I call his dishes gourmet um i think they're a little bit more than just the norm but then that could be my ignorance yes god bless you daniel um yeah let's see eight in the chat who just showed up Hey, Ken, you're sideways. I'm sideways. How about now? There's nothing wrong with your TV set. <laughs> You've entered the Twilight Zone. <laughs> so, anyways. Yeah. Well, my auto rotate um, isn't, isn't turning it once... I went live, I had it vertical, and I went live with it vertical, and I it didn't work when I turned it, so it's kind of messed it up. Nothing like homemade mashed potatoes, the real deal. Um, anyways, well, what's everybody been up to? RG, have you put out any videos lately? Bigfoot Silver Sneakers, have you got around to putting up any videos lately? Um, Lydia and Maya and much more, that's Will. Um, taking you with me going on my second channel temporarily. Okay, I'm not sure what you're saying, but okay there, Will. Uh, Bigfoot Silver Sneakers. I'm going to check them out. It looks like a good stuff. Yes, really good stuff there. And like I was saying, you know, he made these bomb croutons um, from this all natural bread full of wheat and different nuts and different, you know, flavors and um, just yeah. Gary's got a Gary's got a really good channel. Okay, just a short one, Ken. A short, you're going to do a short video, Bigfoot, Silver, Hide and Seekers?
Lydia, Mia, and much more. Second. Yeah, okay. So you started another channel there, Will? A gift my daughter made me. Okay. I don't know what would be funny about that, but okay. Wow, how did I zoom? Look at my head. It's filling the screen. I wasn't, I didn't even zoom. My camera's, like I say, I dropped it about eight times. Now I'm trying to zoom out and it won't zoom out. Wow. There we go. I think I got it. Good. Yeah, I got it. Okay. Um, who's put out any videos lately? Because I know Bigfoot Silver Hide and Seekers. He's put out a, a couple really good ones. Worth watching. Worth it. Um, good information there about silver and the content of what it was in a dime and then a nickel and a quarter and... Uh, he has a couple really good videos. Yes, not long ago, I have my phone plugged in, so I have a. I have to grab something else, okay? So, RG, have you put out any videos? Healthy Vegan Living, what was your last video you put out? What, what was your dish, or what were you showing? And Bigfoot Hide and Seekers, you got one coming up with the gift your daughter gave you. Not since last week. I'm working on another one for next week. Okay. All right. Um, if you change it from 10K or from 10, what is it? What was that? 1040 or something? 1020? Four. I have some clips to put together. All right, cool. Good. Glad to hear it. Healthy Big Living. Pro product review. Aussie Bakery Cranberry Orange Juice Snacking Rounds will Lazuno. I'm not sure what that is. <laughs> Sun-dried tomatoes. <laughs> I posted... I posted... Whenever you get two minutes, but... Oh, it's... Okay, it's up. All right. Um, after this live stream, I'll have to go over there to your channel there, uh, Bigfoot Silver Hide and Seekers. And if you, if you haven't been to... Bigfoot Silver's channel. Check out his channel. Like I say, he's got some really good informational videos um, on coinage and their silver content and their value. Um, then he has another video that uh, also has some good information on it. Um, sounds like he's, he's got another one up. Something more uh, casual. I could probably, here lately, I could be putting up two or three, about uh, two videos a day, but I don't want to inundate everybody with videos. But in the big picture, if, you know, YouTube displays them, puts them on their search engines, even if, you know, people in your uh, community, you know, are like, man, you're putting out too many videos. You can't expect me to watch all your videos. No, I don't. It's nice when you do. But if YouTube spreads them out in their search engines, then other people get to see them, you know, that are looking for that info. You know, that, that's why I kind of put some out like I do. I'm not trying to inundate everybody with my videos. I'm just trying to get them out there into the search engine so that they can be seen, you know, because it's hard to stay on top of it, you know. Okay, healthy vegan living. 
hard to keep up all those videos. Yes, it is. It is, Gary. And I realize that. Um, I put up one video. It goes pretty good. I put up two. It goes pretty good. I put up three in a week. It doesn't get the views. <laughs> and I understand. You know, I fully understand. But my thoughts behind it are, like I'm saying, if I put them out, it'll go into the YouTube's search and it'll be placed in their search engine. And at least then it's out there to be seen, you know, and then person gets time, then, you know, and they want to check it out. They can come back and check it out a week later, or whenever, you know, kind of thing. Um, there's times I'll go to people's channels. And I'll go, oh, wow, I haven't seen this video or this video or this video. And when I have the time, I'll sit there and I'll watch two or three videos sometimes, you know. Um, I do that. And uh, I don't do it all the time. But when I have the time, um, I do that. You know, I will. Um, so then didn't just live your, didn't just living life, you know, just. Servant of Yeshua, just saw you. Thank you for being here. How are you doing, bro? How are you doing, Servant of Yeshua? Of you, if I slow down, I could talk. Servant of Yeshua, not not it's not Yeshua. I'm frustrated. <laughs> Yeshua, servant of Yeshua, servant of Jesus, Yeshua. Yes. How you doing there, bro? I'm glad you're here. Stay bold there, bro. Stay bold. Am I a vegan? No. Nothing wrong with being a vegan. Nothing wrong with eating right. Eating good. You no. Know, right now I'm having a pork chop and uh, some broccoli. But nothing wrong with being a vegan. Vegan, I know no way you can be a vegan if you're... <laughs> I'm not claiming to be... <laughs> Gary says, there's no way you can be a vegan if you're eating meat. That's right. <laughs> unless, unless it's fish, then that's not considered meat. But you bet, bro. I'm, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to keep it real. Uh, you know, I wouldn't be me. I wouldn't be true to myself if I wasn't. I wouldn't be true to my creator either, you know. Although he knows. He sees it all anyway. But no, got to got to be real. Got to keep it real. You know, God sees it all. And before I read it, my mom told me that back, you know, when I was knee high to a grasshopper. Elf Lord's Journey. It's a pleasure to have you here, bro. You made my day. Now, everybody, Elf Lord's Journey right here. Hey, little dumpling. Thank you for being here. Make friends, you make friends, y'all. As we say in California, you guys, as we say in the South, y'all, y'all make friends now. Yeah. Um, and I'm not, and I'm, and I'm being serious. I'm joking, but I'm being serious. Um, well, thank you for being here, Dumplin. Elf Lord's Journey. Now he's an artist. For those that don't know Elf Lord's Journey, I'm assuming most people in here are not familiar with Elf Lord's Journey. He is an artist. He does really nice work. He draws um, a whole assortment of different varieties of artwork from beaches to birds to rocks to tractors, uh, barns, farmhouses, uh, animals. Um, Elf Lord's Journey um, draws a whole myriad of different styles of artwork. And uh, 
He has a really good channel. You have a few nice art channels. Pretty much everything. You're welcome there. Well, bro, you know, my pleasure, Elf Lord's Journey. It's good to see you here. I haven't seen you for some time, but hey, you're my bro. You know what I'm saying? My brother from another mother. So, yeah, so if you're not familiar with Elf Lord's Journey, um, like this, he's got a really nice art channel, and uh, he's got a real variety. And then, what what day of the week do you do you have uh, your sketching? Is it like I forget? Is it like Wednesday or Monday or Tuesday or something? You have your 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 uh, sketching. I, I forget what you call it, but anyways, one day a week. Maybe if he okay, there will pretty much everything. Thanks, can Elf Lord. Okay, yes, just read it. Well, Elf Lord's journey. If you're, I think you're still here. Um, tell everybody what day of the week you have your pencil, you have your drawing. Um, ah, I forget what you call it now, it's been a while, anyways. Just check out his channel. <laughs> yeah, my grace of God, it still works. It's the mashed potatoes. <laughs> That's funny, Gary. <laughs> my screen's fogged up from the mashed potatoes. <laughs> That that's healthy there, Will. Oatmeal is very healthy anytime. For those of you that don't know, I've started Monday, Wednesday, Friday, an exercise routine, basic and advanced or intermediate with my own technique for exercising. Um, something I developed over 20 years ago while lifting weight. But we're doing this without weight. Um, and if you add weight to it, it makes it that much more intense. And that's at 9.30 a.m., Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I want to check tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll be going live at 9.30 a.m. Pacific time. And I'll be doing my program very basic in the beginning for the first half hour. The next half hour is more intermediate. And you can add weights to, this, to my routine that I've created, and it makes it a lot more intense. Okay? So that was a commercial break. Uh, let's see. Servant of Yeshua. Got a day hi to all chats. If you're not on me, this bro mod... On my channel. I'm not sure what you're saying there, servant of Yushia. Preservative meat. McDonald's. Yeah. Little Dumplin, thank you for being here. And if you don't know Little Dumplin, everybody, she's got an interesting channel. She's a she's a good channel. I've known her for some time now. Not, um on this phone, I can't make anybody mods or I'd have more mods. Um, and I don't, my, my laptop isn't, I don't have the Wi-Fi for the laptop. So it really makes it difficult. Um, but I would be making people mods if I could. Um, just to give you a little info on that. Uh, so if you don't know Little Dumplin', check her out. And... Uh, He's a good country girl. Um, she has an interesting channel, like I say. Sorry, bro. Phone on dictionary. Oh, yeah, that's all right. 
That's all right. I just want to understand what you're saying so I, you know, understand where you're coming from. Okay, so a little dump is leaving the chat or she's already gone. We have your servant of Yeshua. We have Will or the Lydia and Maya and much more. That's Will. Those are the names of his cats. He has cats and those are the names of his cats. Um... But it's showing four in the chat. So who's so who's still remaining? Will still here, I believe. Servant of Yeshua of Yeshua is still here. Yeshua. I'm pronouncing that wrong and not on purpose. Totally by, totally by accident. Servant of Yeshua is still here. Healthy vegan living still here. So that's three. Um, what I said was you've got to say hello to all when come in to the chat and you are a mod on my channel. Oh, okay. Well, you know, I haven't really set up any rules from your servant of Yeshua, but that, that is very good. You know, I agree with that. I think that's, you know, good understanding to have. It's okay, brother. Don't be. It's okay. Not a big deal. You know, just a thing. Um, but no, I agree. I just haven't set up anything with anybody, you know. But that's something I need to let people know. I have little dumpling. I had like three or four mods, and I'm down to two. One is Ranger92308. And the little dumpling is my other mod. Like I'm saying, I'm unable to make anybody any mods right now because I'm not set up to do that. Well, thank you, uh, Gary, for still being here. Um, I hope you gained some people here. They went and visited your channel and made friends with you. And uh, after the live stream, if you don't know Healthy Vegan Living, Check out Healthy Vegan, Vegan Living. He's got some gourmet dishes that be worth your time to check out. He's got a lot, a lot of great dishes to uh, choose from. And uh, a lot of information. Whether you're vegan or not, it's good food. Well, you betcha, bro. And same thing, you know, servant of Yeshua, of Yeshua, servant of Yeshua. Um, okay, come on, bro. Have some pork chops. <laughs> Good stuff. Actually, I cut these chops off of a pork roast. Um, or pork log, whatever it was, anyways. But, um, yeah, vegan eating, eating vegan is good for you, you know. I was in Oregon about 20, about 18 years ago, and I met this vegan couple. His wife was 97 years old. She was as alert as alert. And, and as awake and as healthy as we are. He was 78 years old. She was 97. 97 years old. He was 76 years old. Got up every morning and went to work. She got up every morning and made him breakfast. Had dinner ready when he came home for dinner. 
97 years old. Vegan. Vegan. Um, healthy as she could be. Her hands were, were not bony. They were like my hands. Thick and healthy. Um, incredible. Hard to believe. And they were Seventh-day Adventists. And uh, she was as healthy as she could be at 97. Amazing. I wouldn't mind living until 150, you know. The Lord didn't return before then, but I'm thinking he's going to be. I think he'll be back here much quicker than that. But 104 would be a good life. But I wouldn't mind living as long as God will let me live. If he wasn't going to return. You know. I'm okay with that. I'd like that. I would take that time just to teach and, you know, and share, and you know, the history and make a difference. I would enjoy that. Sure, Jesus with the world is along with it, you know. But um, I don't think I'll live to be 130 or 40. But I'm up for it. I'm okay with it. Yes, our lives are always in his hands, Gary. So true. What nobody knows here on my channel is I ended up with a blood clot in my leg um, that went all the way up. I had a filter already implanted in my chest, in my orata. Not orata. Not my orata? No. All the way up next to my heart. And I had a, had a filter there. And I had a clot go from my calf all, all the way up my leg to about right in here. And uh, I went septic. My, I was running 106 temperature, 108 temperature every day. They were uh, icing me down at the hospital every day. And uh, this went on for about three weeks. And uh, finally, the surgeon came in and says, Ken, this is a life and death surgery. Um, you could die during surgery. And I went, I told him, I'm a Christian. I know where I'm going. He says, well, so am I. I said, well, I'm okay with that. And uh, we did surgery. The, the temperature stopped because my, I was septic. My blood went, was poisoned from the blood clot. And I went totally septic. And... Um, they was able to remove all of that, and then my body had to deal with the rest of it. Anyways, I spent like two and a half months in the hospital. Um, so, you know, our timing is in God's hands, you know. Our life is in God's hands. My sister, I don't know, she just had 108 fever, never went to the hospital, and by God's grace, she's still here living to tell you about it. That was recent. I'm like, what's the matter with you? you? You should know better than that. So yeah, our our um, lives are definitely in God's hands. That's 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 for sure. Okay, servant of Yeshua, New World Shopping Market threw food away daily. We never needed to go shopping. He died 2012. Wow. What a deal. That was a huge blessing. Huge. We were eating good for free. <laughs> That's for sure. That's for sure. Yeah, well, I've raised a few hogs, and it's the biggest bang for the buck. You compare raising a hog to raising a, a cow, the price of the cow is a lot more. To feed that cow is a, light, is a lot more. And you've got all these big bones. It, you get more meat pound for pound, dollar for dollar, and in a pig than you do for a cow. And... It's a whole lot cheaper to raise. And you come out way ahead with a lot more meat. 
because you don't have all those big bones everywhere, you know. But um, I wouldn't mind raising it. Cow just can't afford it. But we didn't raise this. I haven't done that for a few years. But um, anyways, yeah, Gary, our life is in God's hands, you know. That's a fact. And uh, thank God for his mercy and grace, let me tell you. I think we can all relate to that one. But, uh, well, shoot. So, you're doing a product review on your vid on your channel. Will has a video he's putting together. RG has a video he's putting together. Yes, amen, brother. Amen. And all relate to our life being in his hands. And my dad got milk daily too. Very what a deal, see? From another should I'm see it in bro and every week they threw it away. Anchor milk cause big waste. Yes, big waste. Never bought that either. Farmers loved my dad. Cow up for pig. Wow. Okay. Your dad raised pigs? And traded pig meat for cow meat. If all they've got is is if all they have is beef, they they you know you want a little mix, you know. So that sounds like God really worked out the details for you guys, big time. That's great. You know, God says he takes care of the sparrows. And he puts clothes on, on the flowers in the field that are burned up by the heat, by the sun. How much more does he love us and take care of us? You know? My dad got Hep's land open pig farm bro i had to clean it's just <laughs> well somebody had to do it <laughs> you know what was that show the most the, the the dirtiest jobs you know somebody's got to you know and i was raised when i raised three pigs you know i had to we had a butcher come out and um they they, they shoot it and they clean it and they butcher it and, uh, but I, you know, I did everything out there. Thank you, host. No one carry his job on this family. Yeah. You know, but somebody's got to do it. You say you, you were, you were a big help to your dad, you know, know that. Know that you were a big help to your dad. So, I'm sitting here cutting up my meat. But, um, anyways, I thank Gary um, for his sharing of his oatmeal peanut butter chocolate bars. I'm going to have to have my wife make some. Uh, Lydia... And Maya, much more years ago, I used to make sausage. Okay. Now you get a meat grinder. But I don't know where you get the skins. Where do you get the skins to stuff the sausage in? I think that's, that's part of the trick is getting having getting skins. You should use butter instead of what there, Gary? Uh, healthy vegan living?
You should use butter in, instead of what? What did I miss? So, Servant of Yeshia, what's your last video, bro? If you use dairy butter, it will taste better. I use vegan. Not the same taste. Oh, okay. Okay. For your for your chocolate butter bars. Chocolate butter bars. <laughs> chocolate butter bars. <laughs> for your chocolate oatmeal <laughs> peanut butter bars. <laughs> Use butter. <laughs> it's raining. Thanking Jesus for the water. My last video. Okay. Okay. I'm going to have to drop by your channel there and check it out. Well, guys, I am like out of conversation and I don't want to just keep you hanging in here but if you haven't been over to Gary's channel go check out his channel if you haven't been to Yeshua's channel servant of Yeshua's channel check him out if you haven't been to Will's channel you know make friends Elf Lord's Journey he's got a really interesting channel with all kinds of artwork Tell them about your, about my furniture. Tell them, oh, my stump chair. Talking about my stump chair, Gary? I think you're referring to my stump chair. Well, if you haven't seen my stump chair, Well, I could, I could show you. I could just go back there and show you my stump chair. I haven't done anything with it. Okay, servant of Yeshia. Lamb, the baby in my fam, seven brothers. I watch animals. Why they got, oh, drunk lots. I bit like Joseph. <laughs> They're jealous of me. I call it pride. Huh? <laughs> okay. Yeah, Joseph was full of himself. If you read that, if you go back and you read, Joseph was almost like arrogant, um, you know, which is going to be irritating, you know. And it was like he was full of this pride and God had to humble him. And God used that situation to humble him. Or he could then be used by God after he was humbled. And God used him big time. Um, but he had to mature and be humble. I really think that was Joseph's, Joseph's uh, issue. I can go out there and show you my chair. I gotta, I'll take you. Come along with me as we take a walk. Take a walk on a sunny day in the park on a Sunday afternoon. Good day, sunshine. Okay, we're going to go take a look at my stump chair. The stump chair. Good day, sunshine. I don't claim to be a singer. I like to sing. I enjoy singing. But I do not claim to be a singer. There's a big difference. Although I do claim to be a woodworker. I claim to be, sort of be that. 
Okay, we're in the back. Oh, is this light going to be good enough? That's the question. Uh, maybe I can hook up. Maybe I can get this light going. Got this light hooked up so well, she doesn't want to let go. Hold on, hold on. One second, one second. Bear with me. Get a little light on the subject, I do believe. All right. All right. Now, I to get my light plugged in. Let there be light. Okay, now. I'm going to have to wipe this off. It's dusty. As I'm bringing it around into the light. All right. I'm going to show you the dusty and then wipe down. The before and after. All right. This is it. But it's all dusty. Okay. This is the armrest right here. This is the armrest for your elbow. All right, this was a limb, a big limb growing out of that tree. All right, that was just a limb. All right. And uh, let's get this dusted off. Get all the dust knocked off. Now I've got about seven, eight coats of polyurethane on here. And what most people don't know Polyurethane is a plastic. Okay. <clears throat> now I've got my foot pearl, car paint pearl in here. I'm going to try to get to show it. Okay. The gold, do you see the gold in here? This gold is, is a pearl from car paint. All right, all this is, some of it's stained, but like the gold, that reddish color you're seeing, right in this area, that's a pearl, orangish color, that's pearl. All right, this is a, this is a pearl, reddish orange in here. I don't know if you're seeing it though. This is car paint pearl that I used. I put in my poly. Here, here, you, you should be able to see it reflecting right in here. Get the right angle on it. Be back soon. Okay, servant of Yeshua. Of Yeshua. Man, I keep saying that wrong. All right. And here you can see the, the pearl, the orange, reddish color coming through. All right. It's brighter and shows up better here, but my camera is all jacked. So I don't know how much of that color you're actually seeing. All right. But I blended the stain and then the colors with the pearl. Now this is a little lighter down here. All right. But that's my stump chair. Now, when I sit, I sit, all right, here. Okay, and then I put my arm here in the armrest. And I kind of lean back. See? Here, let me see if I can't get this right. Okay, so then I just kind of sit back here and just relax. Now, my stump chair. I mean, my stump, my stool, my footstool. Here's my footstool. Um, 
I think some of the color's too heavy on this stool, footstool. All right, now the footstool is really unique. Um, but I put color on it, some stain, and I made it too heavy. Um, it almost looks like paint. All right. But this is the footstool. This is the front of it. Okay. But like I say, I got the color in here, but it looks like paint. And I'm probably going to strip the paint off, the stain off of it, and to lighten it up. Because it looks too cheesy for us, I'm concerned. It doesn't look natural enough. And uh, looks like somebody just spread paint on it. And uh, I'm a little frustrated with, with how it came out. All right, but this is the back side. Okay. This is a like a neural, neural, neural right here. All right. It's kind of got some cool designs in that. Um, but this is how it goes. All right, so this is the front. So then back here, see, I just kick back. I just kick back here. See, put my foot on. Got your foot still going on here. And uh, then you're sitting back here with your arm in your armrest. You're just kind of kicking it, see? We're going to sit up, however, you know. But uh, anyways. There's my footstool. And my stump chair. There it is. All right, so appreciate you humoring me on that. All right, well, good, good. Yeah, I but this footstool, Gary, I it's it's too heavy. Whoops, I'm showing you. But this is really heavy. It almost looks like paint. You know, way too heavy. I'm really thinking about stripping it down. Thinning it out because I'm didn't come out quite right, and I don't like the fact even that this is so light. You know, this is a lot darker, a lot. It's really golden, and uh, the seat is like amazing. It's the bottom half, this piece. You know, this bottom section. I'm not happy with how light it is, um, but this, the colors, and and how this, the darkness, and how this all comes together you know um i don't know if you can see the colors in that i can't see them you may be seeing more color than i'm seeing on the screen because there's lots of color there in this area there's like a reddish orange color in with the gold all right this is like gold leaf um that's like a gold leaf but that is pearl all right in the poly so anyways, I'll see what it looks like after the video, um, you know, back here. One of a kind. That's one of a kind stump chair. I've never seen a stump chair put together this way. Usually it's just a stump like this that you sit on. Never anything like this, ever. Um, so that's one of a kind. And here's a lamp in the making right here. That's a that's a blank. That's a that's a lamp blank. All right. I have one like this finished in the house I can show you when I get back in. But that's a lamp blank. I've got a couple more lamp blanks. Um I've got one I'm getting ready to a couple of them I just got a hold of to make 
um, which would be really unique. And I may um, show you how to do that on this channel. Um, you can you can sell those lights for $125, those natural lamps. $125 bucks a pop or more, depending on where you're at, or less, depending on where you're at. But you're taking firewood, turning it into a lamp. Okay. All right, I'll show you this. Uh, I haven't shown this in a while on my channel. I will show you this other lamp. Okay, I'll turn this around. It's not true. Hold on one second. There it is. This was my first lamp I made. Okay. That's rope. My wife said, you need to add something to that rope. So she had me buy these little characters. She picked out these characters and a butterfly and these little guys down here and added them to it to kind of give it some character. So it wasn't so plain. But that's all natural color. All right. I could have sanded off this varnish underneath, but I left it for the color. Then I polyurethaned over the top of it. All right. And I've uh, made as much as $165 a lamp. Um, but like I said, depending on where you live, up in Big Bear, those lamps may go for 150, 180, you know, 250, just depending, you know, on what they think they can sell them for. But I've sold a couple of those without without the rope on it, just this one like I showed you outside. Um, did them custom for a guy. They came out of the same limb. I cut it in half and he wanted it like a foot tall for night lights on his night for the nightstand. And uh it's a really good deal. Yes, it is. It can be. It can be. Um, you know, I had them out for sale out here where I live. And uh, my guy came along and says, Hey, can you make me someone's about twelve inches tall? For my bed stands. I said, yeah, yeah. And I cut them out, like I said, cut it out of the same limb. And he got these custom made, made lamps. Um, that was cool. But anyways, I, I've got um, uh, another one. I'll show you. Since we're talking about it, I'm not showing you. I might as well show you what I'm thinking I've got my next blank hold on bear with me here um, I'll show you my next project my next lamp project um, that'll be pretty cool all these are original that's what makes it so unique as well all right yeah Okay, let me turn this around and show you my next lamp project. This will be my next lamp project right there. The lamp, I'm either going to have it coming out the side, or I'm just going to have it coming straight up out the top. Um, but see, I won't need a base. This is my base. Okay. And that'll be a lamp. It's pine. It looks like a pipe. Yeah, it does look like a pipe, don't it? 
I could, I could carve this out and hollow it out like a pipe, make it a planter, and it would look like a pipe. <laughs> That's a good idea, Gary. <laughs> yeah, I, I could hollow this out easy enough, you know, and make it look like a pipe. I sure could, but it'd become a planter. That would be that's a, that's a good idea. You just gave me an idea. It'll look like a pipe because it'll have the hollow in it, and then somebody they could use it for a planter if they wanted to, or just keep it empty. You know. However, good idea. Um, that's easy enough to do. I could do that pretty simply. Take a router bit in there and just kind of make a bowl. And uh, then if I come straight down into here, you know, I could have the lamp going, the light coming up. A good table, yeah, it could be a table too. I could cut it off so it's a little straighter because it's running at a slight angle. I could cut it where it's more level. And uh, yeah. So, you know, several ways you could go with it, for sure. But that's my next light project. I've got another one. But uh, that one's really unique. Uh, my friend, Joe MacGyver, he got some firewood and I'm like, hey, that would make a great lamp. You know, he's like, oh, take it. So I'm looking forward to doing that one. I'm going to keep the bark on it because the bark on that's really, uh, the skin on the bark is really tight. And so I'll leave the bark on that. Um, but if it was loose, I, if, it's, if it's a big bulky bark, um, there's a lot of color in the wood behind that bark. Um, and you want to leave, you can sand it all off, but you don't do that. Um, you just leave it natural, and you leave the natural color that's there. You just rinse off the dirt, let it dry, lightly sand it with 320, and uh, polyurethane it. And you preserve all the color that way. Um, some parts you may not even want to sand. Maybe just touch up the edges, you know, sand up the edges a little bit. Um, leave it alone. Like just, just polyurethane it. But anyways, that's in my spare time that I have to make to do it in. Um... Did everybody leave when it, my internet took a nosedive? Or YouTube took a... I, I thought so for a second myself, but my phone was fine and I didn't get any warning signs, you know, about a dead a battery dying. No, that I just completely lost connection. Totally. Um... Okay, I was wondering if you were still here. I guess we must have lost Mila. She, she's a new supporter. I, I was a yeah, supporter here. I just made contact with her. Um, so it was good to see her in the chat. But... Uh, no, I lost my connection. It just it just cut off and went blank. I, I'm just like, what? So anyways, um, yeah, we have to take some time to, to drill some holes and do what I got to do. It doesn't take that long to do, really. Um, especially that I don't have no base to connect to it or nothing. All I got to do is drill holes and run the wires. Running the wires are a little tricky, but it's like running wire. If you know how to run wire, it's, it's the same thing. 
um, take a wire and you run it down through the hole and you tape it on to your electric wire that you're going to use and you put it up through. Uh, Spectrum was doing that for a while to every internet would go out. Wow. I've never had that issue till right now. Um, yeah, I haven't had any issues with, with, with Metro. Metro's been really good. Um, if you remember, Will, um, when I was, I was, went to Boost for a very short time, like a week or week and a half or something, and every time I'd go live, I'd, I would disconnect and reboot and reboot and new signal. And, um, they lasted for about a week and a half. Wherever it is. Wherever it is. Um, so, yeah, they didn't last. But Metro's been great. First time to experience this. Well, where I'm at, it, there's not a whole lot of wind. Not right now. It's starting to get a little cold up here tonight. I think this is the coldest night we've had. And I'm thinking it's probably in the 50s, some were thinking. But it's starting in first. This is like a little chilly outside right now. Not bad, but winter's coming. <laughs> hey, speaking of which, um, uh, Gary, um, what about that garage uh, rack, storage rack? Um, where, where are we at with that, on that? As I'm sitting here, kind of thinking. Fifties ain't cold, no. But for California, fifties, when it gets into fifties, it's getting cold in California. Um, but re, but well, if you remember last when we are we, I get thirty degree weather here, where I live, and now that that's cold for California. Still on hold, but I'm slowly getting this. Okay, all right, so we can. All right, right on. So be looking out there, Will uh, Gary. Gary lives here in California, fairly close, and um, we're going to do a collab here in uh, hopefully the near future. Um, Gary just got a lot in front of him. He's trying to get knocked out, but uh, yeah. So be on the lookout for a collab. We're near parks in California. It's below 60. Okay, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I think it's in the 50s that over here where I live. Um, but yeah, well, it'll get 28 degrees here where I live. No, that's cold for California. And I'm in the desert. Uh, the city of California and the cities like LA and all of that, it doesn't get that cold. Yeah, doing a collab you're talking about, uh, Will. Yeah, it will be. It'll be fun. I'm looking forward to it. You know, um, it'll it'll be fun and, you know, helping a friend. And it's all good. It's a win-win. And, uh, you know, my, Joe MacGyver, you know, he comes over here and helps me. And I have, a, you know, a few videos over there helping him and that kind of thing. But uh, I don't, you know, you don't see everything I do, but, but I, but yeah, ha having somebody help you out is always nice. You know, it's, it's, it's nice. Not something that happens a whole lot anymore in general, I don't think. But, um. If you can help somebody out, why not? That's my motto. So, well, guys, um, Gary, I appreciate you being here. I'm like out of out of conversation. 
Um, appreciate you being here. I'm hoping you gain some new supporters. And I uh, hope you gain some too, Will. And uh, we've got three in the chat. I'm not sure who that third one is. But um, getting ready to sign out. So, United we stand, United we make it happen. Uh, got to go, Ken. Okay, well, tell, tell, you know, your family hi, and God bless, and good night. And appreciate everyone for being here. And remember, if you're able to make it tomorrow morning, 9.30 a.m. Pacific time, getting fit with Ken. Tell a friend. I'm just one man on a mission. And uh, really looking forward to where this is going, you know. And uh, it's going a little, sl it's going slow, but that's what I expected. You know, I expect it to slowly pick up momentum. It's like, that's my hope, is that it picks up momentum. All right, bro, good night. And uh, catch you on the rebound there, Gary. And again, tell the family hi and God bless and good night. All right, Will, thank you for being here. Appreciate your time, every Gary, Will, and everyone that's been here, and all those that will be here after the live stream. Thank you very much for your support, for your time. United we stand, united we make it happen here on YouTube. So remember, never give up, because there's always a way. You just have to find out what that way is. So God bless. Bye for now. And we'll catch you on the rebound. You'll like Gary's channel there, Will. You'll enjoy his meals. Check out his playlist.